we back in there. Damn devil. Yeah, it's a lock here. Uh, the stream just went out, man. Y'all know how Esau get down, man. You know, the brother started to, the brothers talk talking about wisdom. Yeah, you yeah. know, wise men, he had to shut it down. You know, but um, did you want to continue what you were saying or you just want me to pull up this preset? Uh, yeah, that, that was pretty much it. Uh, well, I, I don't know if I would, was caught, but yeah, we're just cleaving up to the, the, the wisdom, man, the, the wise men. Being around, being around like-minded men, and they they'll give you the, the the honest truth of how to keep these investments going. That's what uh these invest got investor guys, uh, Wall Street guys, they have a collective mindset, and they get together. Yeah. They compare notes, and they say, all right, this works, that don't work. This this let's do this. Yeah. You know, and that's what we got to do in this ministry, man. But you, if you don't, if you're not listening, you're not applying it. Then it's, then it's all going out the window. Yeah. You know? And shit, you know what happens at a job when you ain't listening following instructions and going against uh the protocols your ass get fired right. you know you and get replaced you get replaced <laughs> you know what i'm saying and that, that's what it comes down to man and when it comes to the lord you you don't want to get replaced you don't want to get uh fired man you don't want that all right you want to you want to constantly be a, a a good employee man a good person on the job man all right uh but let me get this this is uh proverbs 15 and verse 31 it says, the ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. But he that heareth reproof getteth understanding, man. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. You see? So he that refuses re re instruction despiseth his own soul, man. So if you don't want uh, to despise your own soul, you got cats out here that really hate themselves, man. All right? And that's because... You you can't tell you can't tell a man nothing. Everything you try to tell him to uh, better himself, you know he get. We, we had a dude that used to come out to camp. You know we was calling him pepperoni guy because he we uh, you know we told him about the word. He was listening, but the Lord started jacking him up. But we saw him eating pizza with uh, with pork on it. You know what I'm saying? So we called him pepperoni dude. Swine yeah. flesh. Swine <laughs> flesh, man. You know he be in the corner and shit. You know, but now. We told him, like, hey, bro, you got to do better for yourself. You got to change your ways, man. Hey, instead of asking and begging for people money, why don't you go and get a job? Then the dude came by a few weeks ago, and now he work at Duffy's. You know? So we like, hey, we like, hey, man, that's what we talking about. You change your ways, man. You can't just be sitting in that sitting in that dust. That's what, what's that, Isaiah 52 that says that? Awake out of the dust, that confusion, mm -hmm. that position that you were in, man. You know, so the Lord is calling us to awake, uh, like the brother when we first started. It is high time to awake out of sleep, man. You know, get out of that dead state that you were in, man. You got the, the Lord, is, his spirit is in the earth right now, man. He said he will pour out his spirit. It's in the earth. So you got to take advantage of that and be able to uh, tap into that, man. Like, you should want some. <laughs> get to get getting while it's good, man. You know, because it's about to be bad for America real soon. You know? And if you're not fearing the Lord, man, you're not even going to try to change. You're not going to do nothing. Because, look, you're doing this for your betterment of yourself and ultimately for salvation. Yep. You don't change your ways. That's your us a personal problem. Yep. That brother don't care. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> For real. If you don't care, well, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Why should I care? Why should we? Why if, should we? If care? you don't want to move with us, and 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 because we following yep. the men that have come before us as they're following you, how would right? That's right. If you don't want to come this way, look, you going you you going the opposite way. That's none of our concern. We're we're, we're, we're occupied with what's going on over here. Mm -hmm. All right, we moving with this line over here. All right, the single file line. You look. You, you want to go over there in the wide and the broad area and do whatever you want? That's, Be my that's, guess. Yeah, that's, that's a personal choice. Your body, your choice. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, bro. <laughs> you got something else? Yeah, I was just going to bring out Sirach 2 real quick. Okay, okay. I'm going to Sirach 1. Well, but go then, ahead. Do you can get your Because right, uh, you brought out the fear of the Lord. This is uh, uh, Sirach 1 and four, uh, 11. It says, the fear of the Lord is honor and glory and gladness and the crown of rejoicing. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord maketh the merry heart. See, people are like, oh, that's fear mongering. Wait, wait, the scripture just said the fear of the Lord is a make glad heart. heart. <laughs> a merry heart. It says, and giveth joy and gladness and a long life. Whoso feared the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. Mm -hmm. And he shall find favor in the day of his death. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. That's it. So if you don't have to fear the Lord, it's because you the Lord didn't give it to you. Mm -hmm. Just like he didn't give you the faith. Because yeah. that, that has to be given to you before you even step on this earth. That's right. You know, the, the elect have been predestinated before the foundations of the earth, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that, and that's a great point. You know, mm -hmm. he gave it to us before we even thought about it, you know. That, and, and Lord willing, we hold on to that, man. 
You got to cleave on to that because there's many cats out here that the Lord, the Lord will jack that spirit up. He'll, he'll take it away because he says, uh, Hebrews 6 chapter, 6 chapter, he goes into how many men have tasted of the heavenly fruit, man. You know, you tasted of the heavenly gift. All right. And, and so now you're, you're, uh, you're, you're thinking that you're just going to cast that away. The Lord going to do away with you. And he'll take his Holy Spirit from you, man. The greatest gift that a man can receive, man. All right. Um, this is, uh, Sirach 2. And, um, I'm going to just start a uh, two. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. You see? Mm -hmm. So if you cleave unto the Lord, you'll be increased at your last end. Just like Job. Job, it says, and all of the things Job did, he did not sin with his lips. Right? So you, you, you got cats. As soon as they go through a little problem, they start cursing the most high, man. Ready to give up the Lord. But if you cleave unto him, you're going to be increased at your last end. So the same way uh, when Job, it said he received double, all right, for all, for all of his substance. The Lord increased him at his last end. And that's what's important because what it say? Uh, better is the end of a thing than the beginning of a thing, you know? So the, at the end of this, at the end of this walk, where's your stance going to be? Are you going to be, it says, if you're not with, the Lord said, if you're not with me, then you're against me, all right? And if you're against the Lord in a time of Jacob's trouble, and in, in chipping season and uh, uh, the, the day of his return is going to be a bad turnout for you, man. So you got to cleave unto him. You got to want to be a part of him. You got to be a, wanting to be a part of his spirit and his ministry, his gospel and, and the brothers that are part of it. All right. Um, I just want to jump down. It says um, verse. Oh, might as well get five for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee. Order thy way of right and trust in him. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy and go not aside, lest ye fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him and your reward shall not fail, man. All right. So uh, make your calling and election sure. Believe in the Lord and your reward ain't going to fail, man. You got to keep that belief, man. Belief is so important. Uh, um, you know, I saw a guy on uh, on social media say something like, you know, uh, I, he said, I blatantly like I don't believe. I saw him say that, you know, and, and when first scripture came to mind was, um, Second Ezra 15, ye that the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. You know, so you got to believe in the Lord when you fear that. And that's why the fear works first, right? The, it says the fear is the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So when that fear works, then you start to believe. And so in that belief, you're going to, your reward is going to be in the uh, great at the end of this thing. As long as you continuously keep that belief in the Lord is still dealing with you. You know? Yeah, they said that in the first chapter, it said that it, it will be well with them at the end, at Ooh. the last. Yep, yep. But you got to fear the Lord. That's the first step, but it's going to pay off at the in the last days, man. Mm -hmm. the, the, on the day of the Lord. That's what's going to, because what people don't fear the Lord. That's why they do whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're going to die. That's it. <laughs> ain't no in betweens. <laughs> ain't no gray areas with the Lord. Yep. No, ain't only kind of fear. He went to church on Sunday <laughs> and here and there. Nah, man. You either fear the Lord or die. That's it. Give me your options. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to just give verse 15 and 16. And right. I'll be done. Uh, it says, they that fear, uh, sorry, uh, 2 and 15, they that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. So like the brother said, ain't no, you, ain't, you can't have no halfway fear, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, the, the, the Lord, uh, the apostles always talk about having a healthy fear of the Lord, man. All right, because there ain't no halfway fear. You can't. Well, I fear him on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Nah, you gotta fear him every day, man. All right, because it's Wednesday and Thursday, he might kill your ass, man. You know, it says they that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord will prepare their hearts and humble their souls in his sight saying we will fall into the hands of the lord and not into the hands of men for as his majesty is so is his mercy so that's another reason we're fearing the lord because we're waiting for mercy man we're hoping for every day we're praying for mercy every day we are hoping that the lord have mercy on us and deliver us from our enemies enemies and give us more spiritual growth more spiritual understanding so that when it get bad out here we got something to fall on man we got a foundation we got safety Right. It says the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run into it and are safe. And that's what we're praying for. That's what we're believing in and hoping for the Lord's mercy, man. You know, did you have anything nah, else? Think, you can close it up. Nah, you know, the Lord's will is edifying. You know, just examine thyself, man. And knowing the days we live in, man, you got to be in that right mindset. All right. Knowing this ain't you can't just be doing whatever you want. You can't just be putting out whatever you want. 
There's a, there's a just like Esau got a curriculum at school shit. They don't just teach whatever they want. Nah, there's a, a certain thing that that must be taught. All right. That's right. And you don't just filibuster, man. Just whatever you want in there, man. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Lord's will is edifying and exhorting to the sincere listeners out there, and you know the men, women, and children that may be listening and taking heed. That's right. All right, changing their ways and coming back to the Lord and your your nationality. All right, and the ways of our people. All right, mm -hmm. so. You know, we're going to give all praises, glory, and honor to. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, or Kakadash. The bonus to the elder apostles, great millstone, who rule well. And salutation and much love to you, Akim, out there, pushing out his word and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.